Okay, so. Hold on. My boss is calling me. So, give me a second. Yes, sir. What are we going to tell him today? Hey, guys. Say hi. Say hi. What we're going to tell you today is the simple things that I did to make keto the, the ketogenic diet. Pardon me. The simple things that I did to make the ketogenic diet successful for me. Keep my food simple, my drinking simple, and you got to figure out how it works into your lifestyle. That's enough. Let's get into this. Wake up in the morning, touch the sky. Touch the sky. If you think money is a motor, tell me why. Tell me why. I see your thoughts and they are loaded with the light. So the simplest things you can do is meal prep. Okay? So meal prep is really the key to your success in the ketogenic diet. The reason being is that you're able to control your situations and what you're putting in your body. So you need to go and get these okay get your tupperware they come in all kinds of different things you can go get go to costco and get a big bundle of them and they come with the lids so we have all your lids and they come in different sizes so you got all these right? you even got little ones for condiments and stuff like that and round ones and that. so you have plenty of stuff to put all your your um your food in so you'll be able to set yourself up for success now the next thing is going to be figuring out like 10 different things that you're going to be able to eat consistently within a day i don't know you got to figure out what your meals are going to be how many they are going to be so you can figure out are you going to have two are you going to have three to four five six to seven um the, the amount of meals depends on how much your how, how big your meals are and they also depend on what you're doing. If you're not somebody who is active, then you're going to eat less meals. If you're somebody who's active, goes to the gym, does CrossFit, um, runs a lot, uh, you're going to want to ha most likely eat more meals so that way you have the food to help you sustain your muscle and your physique. Here are just a few of the things that I have on a day-to-day -day basis just to make sure that I can keep my mindset I don't have to think well one of the good things about the ketogenic diet and when you meal prep or when you meal prep in general is that you don't have to think about food anymore food is a focal point for me like I love food so much I'm thinking about what I'm gonna eat for breakfast when I'm eating breakfast or as soon as I'm done eating breakfast what's for lunch on keto I don't do that anymore I know what my meals are I planned them out the day before or even a couple days before so I don't even think about what I'm gonna eat and when I'm gonna eat it I eat when I'm hungry and that's it. So let me show you what I got to eat. These are the things that I do eat on a, on a daily basis. Eggs. Hard boiled. I make egg muffins. They're, uh, you can make them in a tin. I'll do, uh, I'll do a video on one of those one day. Basically you take a whole egg, you crack it, put it in a tin, throw some sausage or bacon in there, add a little bit of cheese, some A1 sauce or hot sauce or something, and boom. Laser. So this right here is just uh, prime rib and some string beans. This is a meal for her. There is one meal. Let me run back because another thing I like to put on my steak is A1 sauce. So this all gets heated up. So I'll just, just do a little light drizzle like that. Add a little bit of flavor. A1. I like to eat eggs, so I will take three hard boiled eggs. And this will be breakfast. Usually, I'll eat these uh, as soon as I get to work after the gym. So, there's another meal avocado, baby. This can be a meal, um, it's loaded in carbs. I like to eat them when I eat my eggs. If I'm not too full, I'll eat an avocado with my eggs, a little bit of salt and pepper on it. So. Maybe this will be a meal together, maybe it'll be uh, just a snack later on by itself, but whatever it is, 
I'm gonna eat this. Hot dogs. Two or three of these uh, could be a meal, depending on if you are um, cutting or not. Like right now I'm cutting, so I really kind of watch how many calories, but these things are great. Uh, so I'll probably just eat two. Um, this is all my meal, what I'm doing right now, everything is for tomorrow, so two for tomorrow. So another one of um, my favorite type of meals and type of stuff to have because it's just so easy and freaking tastes delicious is cold cuts. So basically I'll just take this is just, what is this, uh, honey ham. So it's got some sugar in it because it's honey. But I'm not going to over eat this. Um, so it's not that bad. So I lay down a piece of ham. Even no. I lay down a piece of cheese. Hold on, snack break. Someone knew I had cold cuts out. <laughs> She's such a camera ham. Is that good? You like the cheese? <laughs> That's little rhino, yo. Watch out. So back to it. So basically I'll take a slice of cheese and a slice of ham, lay it down, real simple. I'll do about six pieces of each. Um, that's about what most people get on a sandwich. I mean, maybe not the cheese, the cheese is a little excessive, but you get about six pieces of, of, uh, of meat on a, on a deli sandwich, I think. So with my cheese and ham, when I, I like to roll it up and then I like to uh, dip it into like a mayonnaise and mustard mix. So this is basically all I do for this. You can use a spicy mustard. Um, you can even use like a hot sauce or something if you want to make it like that. Or cayenne pepper is good. If you want to put some cayenne pepper in there. Or chipotle. I'm sorry, not cayenne. Chipotle. Cayenne would be gross. So I just make that and mix it up. That's my dogs. Bam, done. And then I just dip them in that. So basically, these are my meals for tomorrow. I'll, I may eat something when I come home. So we got the steak with the green beans, the ham with the cheese, dip it into that, mayonnaise and mustard. We got a palio string cheese for a snack. A couple of hot dogs. Three eggs with an avocado and then bacon and cream cheese so that's one day of eating that'll be my Thursday eating um, it's nothing crazy I mean my fats are there all the big fats are there um, I'll throw on a protein shake that's what I will do I will throw on a protein shake when I leave the gym what I like to use Synth6. So Synth6, it's not the best protein, especially on keto. It does have per scoop 15 grams of carbohydrates. But again, I'm training really hard in the morning, so I'm getting gains. So my body kind of needs the carbs. So <clears throat> I do use uh, the keto test strips, make sure that I am in ketosis. So yeah, that's my eating. Hope y'all like the video. Subscribe. And smash that like button. Wake up in the morning, touch the sky. Touch the sky. If you think money is a motive, tell me why. Tell me why. I see your thoughts and they are loaded with the lies.